what is the origin of Shongu and what was his relationship with Oshun and Oya? Welcome to the Sankofa Pan-African series. Please support us through Patreon and by buying me coffee. Don't just subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification button. Share our videos and check out our website, sankofastorybooks.com for history, Afrocentric stories and other resources for our children. Now, the origin of Shangu, also called Shangu, and then sometimes spelled with an X, X-A-N-G-O, like the origin of other Orisha in Yoruba mythology, is complicated. Some scholars believe that Shangu was a historical figure who was later deified as a god by the Yoruba people. Alafe Shangu was the fourth Alafe of Oyo. Others argue that he was a purely mythological figure. According to one um, oral tradition, Shongo was a powerful king and warrior who ruled over the ancient um, kingdom of Oyo, which was located in what is now Nigeria. He was known for his bravery, uh, military prowess, and supernatural abilities, and was said to have possessed powers that allowed him to control the weather and harness the power of thunder and lightning. One theory about the origin of Shongu suggests that he may have actually been inspired by the real historical figure of Jakuta, a ruler of ancient Oryo, who was known for his military powers and patronage of the arts. Jakuta was said to have been a powerful warrior who used lightning as a weapon and was often depicted with a double-headed axe. All of these attributes are also associated with Shongu. Another theory suggests that the worship of Shongu may have actually originated from the ancient Egyptian god Seth, who was also associated with thunder and lightning and was known for his unpredictable nature. Despite the uncertainty um, surrounding Shongo's origins, his worship remains an important part of Yoruba religion and culture, and his legacy continues to inspire and influence people around the world. Shongo is one of the most widely worshipped deities in the Yoruba pantheon. He is the god of thunder and lightning and is associated with fire, dance, and drumming. Shongo is often depicted as a tall, muscular man with a fiery temper and a love for music and dance. He's associated with the color red and as I said earlier, he is typically represented with a double-headed axe, which symbolizes his power over thunder and lightning. Now, according to oral tradition, Shango is said to have had three significant goddesses as lovers. Oshun is considered the first of these formidable female deities. Oba. Also a deity was another one and then his relationship that was considered the most passionate was with Oya. Shango's relationship with Oya was unique because they had complementary superpowers. Oya had the power over the winds and rain which complemented Shango's power over thunder and lightning. Together, they were a formidable force. When they went to war, Oya led the charge by summoning the winds. At her command, the winds would blow and fell trees, roofs, and other structures that were in the way. When Shango set fire through thunder and lightning to destroy their enemies, Oya would breathe wind into the fire to make it more ravenous. They were so close 
that Shango trusted her with his Edwara, the special stone with which he summoned lightning. Unfortunately for this um, ill-fated dynamic duo, during the course of fighting a protracted war, Shango found himself at a loss because his Edwara, which Oya had been keeping for him, got wet and therefore did not spark lightning and thunder at a crucial uh, moment. Shango therefore lost the war. According to the tradition in Oyo at that time, when a ruler was considered to have failed his people, he was presented by his chieftains with a calabash containing the egg of a parrot. The, this symbolized that the ruler had been rejected by the people and should either commit suicide or go on exile. And according to, so according to one version, Shango committed suicide when he was presented with the calabash. However, the more popular version of his story is that rather than commit suicide, Shango disappeared into thin air, which is why one of his titles is Shango Olukosu. Shango, the Lord who did not commit suicide. Some oral traditions also say that Oya was so hurt, heartbroken by the death of uh, Shango that she died. While others say that she too dis simply disappeared into thin air. Now, the one constant between the two versions about Oya is that after she became deified, she became the deity of Oduoya, Oya River, from where she manifests herself as the strong winds that precede thunderstorms. In Yoruba religion, Shango is venerated as a powerful and protective deity who brings good luck, prosperity, and success. He's also considered a patron of the arts and is often invoked by musicians, dancers, and other artists for inspiration and guidance. Shongo's worship has spread beyond Nigeria to other parts of the world, including the Americas, where it has uh, influenced the development of uh, Afro-Caribbean and Afro-Brazilian religions. Um, such as Santeria and the uh, Candomble. Thanks for watching. Please support us through Patreon and by buying me coffee um, so we can continue to bring you this series. Turn on your notification buttons and don't forget to share our videos with your contacts and please keep your comments coming.